Hej på dig and welcome to Swedish Black Metal or so do we say Swartz Metal like we say in Sweden no 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 wait just wait a second we're not in Sweden we are in Finland we live close to Sweden we're not Sweden uh, but yes you are okay time to end this uh cacophony this uh split personality thing let's just focus here okay please thank you very much go away now this is Naglfar with album called Sericloth. It was already released during this hard spring summertime of Corona 2020, which is the reason why this album came a little bit late for review, but here it is. Nevertheless, thanks to my friends at uh, Century Media slash Sony. And uh, it's time to talk about this band, almost 30, 30 years in the business. Never been actually one of the biggest A-star, A-class level uh, of Swedish black metal bands, but still one of the kind of solid musicians in the Swedish black metal scene. Now, while some other bands who have been there actually some 30 years have a double-digit amount of albums, like 12, 15, 16, 17 albums during 30 years, Sir, uh, Metal 4 has been able to do only half of that amount. Now, not that amount as such matters, it's just to state the fact that like during past 13 years the band has put out only a couple of albums, so it's not the most active ones out there, but always, always been a solid uh, band with their melodic Swedish type of uh, black metal. Now this beautiful package comes with a nice looking uh, booklet with uh, images of these nowadays three guys. It used to be a bigger band, but who knows what happened to these guys in the band. At least the drummer position has been rather windy. It seems like the band is always constantly changing the drummer. And with this regard, there is no even real drummer. That is, only session drummer takes place on this one. And the rest of the guys handling guitars, vocals, bass, etc. That is these three guys. Now I don't know what is this curse of Nagelfar drummer, but it is what it is and we'll just have to live with that. But anyway, this nice green looking uh, album kind of a continues with the same theme as previous Nagelfar albums. That is, they never have very catchy names. I mean, think about kind of other classic 1990s black metal bands who have titles like Total Death or Dark Medieval Times, things like that. But instead, Nagelfar has been always a little bit weird going Sheol or, well, Seracloth. I mean, they all have their own story, but kind of have to dig deeper to find out what it actually means. It's not like these titles are the ones that really sell those albums because, you know, catchy names. But maybe that's kind of a point. Anyway, let's talk about the music while I'll show you band's metal archive site. As you can see, band he has been here from 1992, Umeå, Westerbotten, rather northern, northern part of Sweden, so not exactly the Gothenburg or Stockholm side of big cities in the south. So a little bit a different breed than most of the bands coming from Sweden. That is most of the known bands. Doesn't matter if we're talking about melodic death metal, death metal or black metal. These guys are a little bit different scene. And like said about these titles, Vitra, Shell, Pariah, Deras, now Sir Cloth. Not exactly the most syllable names, except for Diabolical, which still might be the best album the band has ever put out. Now, um, Sericloth is very much a kind of a safe bet for Nagelfar fans. That is, throughout these almost 45 minutes of an album, the band keeps doing what they, well, are comfortable with and what is their forte. Melodies which are quite catchy, not very extreme in any sense, not all the way fast, but still kind of, uh, well, energetic. One could say this is close to bands such as Dark Funeral, but not as much fast parts, not as overly dark music. A little bit less, but still enjoyable. And also a little bit reminding me of Dissection. Not as melodic maybe, or not as catchy, but 
somewhere in the middle of these two known names. Now, as such, Nagelfar is quite easy to get into and Cloth doesn't really change that. Everything here is nicely done. It's very well produced. It's not overly produced, but it, the sound is like clear and supports the music what they're doing. It's quite powerful, not too much. Just very, very well-balanced kind of a sound for this kind of music. To be honest, I don't know if this kind of uh, music could even do any kind of a better production. It's quite close to perfection in my opinion. What about those raspy vocals then? Well, they are pretty much your bulk black metal vocals. And I don't mean that bulk thing as in a bad way. It's just nothing really unique, nothing out of ordinary. Basic, good vocals doing their solid job and it's like that. So overall, while I don't think Sir Cloth is the best noggle for album, it's also not the worst. It's very much in the middle, safe and sound, very solid, but to be honest, if you have never ever before liked Nagelfar, this is not gonna change it. There is nothing phenomenal that's gonna change your view about the band. Then again, if you have enjoyed the previous Nagelfar albums, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't like this one. Then again, maybe the fans have already gotten this album. After all, it's been out since May 8th. So a few months out already, but like I said, Corona affected so many things with the physical records and all that stuff. So maybe you might have missed it or maybe your delivery never came true. So now it's time to patch up that mistake in case you were wondering and uh, take a look, take a listen at this album. I find it rather enjoyable and I hope you will too. Not available on Bandcamp, it seems, but you will find this on your favorite streaming services, whatever that might be. So click it a click, give this one a listen, and what can I say? I hope you enjoy it. Should you have comments or questions, put them on the comments box below and I will get back to you. Rauta, signing off. <laughs>